let's talk about a long time ago when snakes had legs. This is Najesh, a type of extinct snake that used to live in kind of the Patagonia region of Argentina around 90 million years ago. And if you look closely, I think right about there, you can see that this guy is quite interesting because unlike snakes today, it has legs. This lad lived in the late Cretaceous period and during that time it was not uncommon for snakes to have legs, but what is uncommon is that these guys had fully functional legs with a pelvis and a girdle and all of that, whereas most of the other contemporary, contemporary fuck me, snakes of that time had very small vestigial non-functional legs. This is also quite the interesting fossil specimen because it throws the already hotly debated origin of snakes discussion for a whole nother loop. Previously, it was a common hypothesis that first snakes evolved as we know them now in marine environments. They, some people thought that they evolved from the mosasaur, yeah, that guy, and they lost their legs while being mainly marine dwelling instead of terrestrial. Now, it's more thought now that snakes did not, in fact, evolve from mosasaurs, but were just a pretty close relative in the reptile tree of life and all of that. But since all prior legged snake fossils were, in fact, marine fossils, it was still highly considered that snakes lost their legs while they still lived at least the majority of the time in the water. However, since our friend Najash here was discovered to have lived a good couple million years after all of the other legged snake fossils, it shows that there were at least a couple terrestrial legged snakes far more recent than we would have thought prior. So our good friend Najash has thrown a couple more things to a loop once again. When exactly did snakes lose their legs? Did they evolve on land and then move to water and then move back to land and then move back to water? Did they evolve in water first? Did they all have legs when they moved to land? Did they lose them in the water? Did they lose them on land? Did different types of ancient snake species lose their legs at different times? Did some regrow legs? There's a lot of debate about snake evolution and historical ancestors. 